Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to another figure video. Uh, so much information coming out. I mean, I knew that WrestleMania weekend was going to be huge. I never expected this. Literally all the time there is something happening. Uh, Matt Hardy uh, led a procession of Woken Warriors down Bourbon Street. Looks absolutely insane. Not only that, Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania Access just said that he hopes that Johnny Gargano loses at NXT TakeOver because he wants to bring him to SmackDown Live. Uh, it's just, honestly, there is so much going on. It's impossible to cover it all. Um, and then on top of that, you've got these new figures that are getting announced. So uh, we have to cover this. Uh, we have to talk about some of these because they're just, they're great. Uh, let's get to Elite Series 60. We've got Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, Triple H, Giant Machine, which is Andre the Giant, uh, John Cena and Elias. A lot of people excited for that Elias figure and rightfully so because he performed a secret gig on Bourbon Street the other day, uh, which, you know, a lot of people were freaking out over. Everyone knows WWE stands for walk with Elias and finally we get our first Elias figure so a lot of people really excited about that Mattel Elite Series 60 uh, I am as well personally very excited for Giant Machine uh, which is basically Andre the Giant now as well as that we've got the Battle Pack series uh, and there's some images here these are all in packaging as well so we've got Carmella and James Ellsworth uh, I was quite excited for this pack, but to be honest, now I've seen the figures, I'm a little bit less enthusiastic. Like, they could have gone with something really bright, really exciting. That Carmella, it's, it's a little drab. It's like black and it's dark and, I don't know, like her bodysuits that she's wearing at the moment are just... They're crazy colourful, really exciting. I just don't get that excitement from this figure. Uh, James Ellsworth, you know fine cool like his ring attire is a little bit more colorful uh the leopard print than his elite was but the elite came with that t-shirt uh i mean look this battle pack's fine but you can definitely get a better james ellsworth and you can definitely get a better carmella but as a battle pack it's cool uh matt and jeff as well you've got matt and jeff hardy there's better hardy boys packs out there you can obviously get the epic moments uh, as well as that they've done some individual elites uh, but this battle pack is going to be a really good way to get the hardy boys at a decent price uh, the final battle pack we need to talk about shinsuke nakamura dolph ziggler this is from backlash we kind of thought it would be because Nakamura versus Dolph Ziggler was actually Nakamura's first match uh, on the main roster. So it is their Backlash attire. Very, very cool. I'm into these figures. Uh, this battle pack interests me a little bit more. Uh, next, we've got the pop vinyls. And the story here is Asuka. Uh, the Asuka figures look absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've obviously got the normal Asuka figure that comes with... Uh, you know, no mask. That's going to be what you'll get in most stores. The chase version is her normal mask, uh, which looks absolutely brilliant. I think that's the one that stands out to me the most. And then there's a Walmart exclusive where she's got like the green tears, uh, like running down the mask. She has actually started to wear that one more on the main roster. Uh, that is a Walmart exclusive. Other figures, uh, the Hardy Boys. Uh, you've got Sergeant Slaughter, Kurt Angle as well, uh, and then you've got Vince McMahon. Uh, this is like his classic commentator, announcer, interviewer, kind of late 80s, early 90s look. Uh, very, very cool. I love the Chase version of that. And check out Triple H. Look at the Chase version of this Triple H. Very, very cool. Uh, loads of detail in that. The King of Kings. Uh, really, really into that. So they're great. And then on top of that, Kurt Hawkins. We're getting a Kurt Hawkins Elite. 
Very exciting news. Uh, Kurt Hawkins been missing from the line. A lot of people been waiting uh, for an elite figure of him since he came back to the company. And it is on the way. That is big, big news. As well as that, uh, Chalkline have actually made a jacket that's got that poster on, you know, of all the figures, all the recently released figures. Looks really cool, really cool. Uh, so you might want to uh, pick up one of those if you're a, a die-hard wrestling figure fan. Uh, I can't think of a better way to share your passion for wrestling figures than having it on a jacket that you can wear wherever you go. Uh, so, yeah, very, very cool, very interesting product. Chortline have been making some fantastic jackets recently. Um, check out Wrestling Shop for their range here in the UK because they have got pretty much all of them uh, and they look absolutely awesome. So I think that's everything, guys. I know this is like quite a quick roundup, uh, but honestly, there is that much going on. And NXT tonight, WrestleMania tomorrow, Raw on Monday, SmackDown on Tuesday. <laughs> honestly, I'm literally struggling to find time to blink at the moment. So, But I had to get this information to you. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already because there's so much to come. Uh, I don't want you to miss out on that. And uh, hopefully... See you again next time. Bye for now.